This is Dakota News Now, your first alert station. Good evening, I'm Andrea Anderson. The current Coddington County Detention Center is nearing the end of its life. That is according to the County Commission. Officials are now exploring the options they have in the future of the current center or if a new facility will be needed to meet future needs. Cooper Seamer has more on our top story from Watertown. Twice the Coddington County Commission has asked the public to approve funding for a new county jail and twice that vote has failed. But the commission still recognizes the need for a new county jail, especially as the current detention center is almost 50 years old. The last time the Coddington County Commission asked for a vote on a new jail came in 2017. That project would have cost nearly $19 million, paid for by property tax increases, and failed by 72 votes. But Commission Chair Lee Gable says the issues with the current center are still present and need to be solved. It's linear construction, so it's not safe. Basically the problem is the people monitoring the jail can't see the inmates. The commission passed a motion on Tuesday for a request for a proposal, allowing them to officially start studying what a new jail would look like. Gable says that allows them to study what the county needs are for the future and appropriately start planning for them. We need some expertise in terms of projecting what those inmate numbers are likely to look, look like in, say, the next few decades with more data under our belt, so we have more data than since we've had since, uh, since 2017. This motion doesn't guarantee that a new vote will be coming to Coddington County. Rather, Gable says it allows them to truly see what the cost would be for a new jail and what alternatives there are to fix their current issues. We're getting a little concerned because it's been six years since 2017 when we knew what the cost was going to be in that $18 million range. You know, now, now we'll have to see. Gable says the next step for the commission is to hear back from firms for their proposals, which are due by January 17th. In Watertown, Cooper Seamer, Dakota News Now.